Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Muriel here. It is quite early. It is 8.05 and I am raring to go. My vacation has started. Life is good. So I wanted to show you a few things I've been picking up here and there. Dollar Tree, uh, Joann's. I've been like on the hunt for those gold foil puffy stickers that are at Dollar Trees, but they haven't come this way yet. I know from experience that it takes a minute before the Pacific Northwest gets the things that I'm seeing people are hauling in other states, but eventually it will get here. But in the meantime, let me show you what I got because I feel like the pandemic has not only affected groceries, but it's affected crafting too. If you go into Walmart, they have like literally no yarn. They had no mason jars. Things are just sparse. I mean, everything I'm looking for, it seems like someone else is doing the same craft. So um, I just did a little stocking up of stuff just in case. Starting with this little sitting gnome decor. He was at my local Safeway. Can you believe it? Isn't this just adorable? And it was $6. So I just had to get him. He's green. I'm going to put him in the kitchen. I just, I have this thing with gnomes. I don't know what it is, but I um, absolutely love him. So let's move him over to the side. So I got this from Michael's a while ago. It's just a uh, Santa Mail delivery stamp. It's by Recollections. And um, <clears throat> I know it was not $5.99. I'm sure I paid much lower, but I thought that was really cute. Um, what I've been stocking up on at the Dollar Tree, and I literally bought all of them that they had are these foam mounting squares. These are so great. And I have used so many making the bows that I am making. I've made a bag full of bows, you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> no idea. And these are the bows when I say uh, Christmas bows. This is made with some Graphic 45 paper. So I made so many because I am giving some, of course, to my crafty friends and um, friends outside of the crafting world and um someone asked me uh the girl who's hosting the next crop i'm going to she asked if i wouldn't mind bringing some goodies so i thought why not bring a, a bag of bows a small bag two three bows for each person 12 people are coming so it's perfect but i've been running low so i went ahead and i encourage you if um you're getting low on stuff you should pick these up because everyone else is and it's going to be sold out so something else I stocked up at the Dollar Tree were some glue sticks. And funny, because me and my daughter went over to our storage unit because she, you know, we buy things she does for her apartment that she will have one day. And uh, we stored in storage. And then I started looking through my craft drawers over there. And there was a drawer that was full of glue sticks. So I bought some back, but that was only before I picked up these. So... Again, glue sticks, getting those so I don't run out. Um, I think, oh, and then I saw this being hauled on Kimbo Creations channel. These are M&M's uh, chocolate candies. These are fudge brownie fillings. So, you know, I can say no to chocolate very easily, but a lot of folks can't. So I picked up four of these because they're those four ladies that I give goodies to for Halloween and Valentine's Day. So I thought I would be putting these in their goodie bags. And then when I was at Walmart, actually that's where I found those at Walmart. They also have pretzel filled, caramel filled, like really crazy. So I got those four. And what else? Oh, I picked up some dowels from Dollar Tree, the perfect size. I have a, um, let me see if I can find it. I have a tool. It's a it's this thing here. It probably, um, this is a tool for cutting wire, I think. I picked it up one time, but it definitely will fit in these grooves here. And you can kind of make a clean cut. Because I want to try some of those pom-poms on the corner kind of embellishments. So I got those. And then, let's see, I picked up, and then I think I went over to Joanne's. And I got some mounting tape, something else that I was running low on, this type. So I got one of those. 
um, when I was at Joanne's, I think we're ready for the Joanne haul. Yes, I picked up some Tim Holtz. These were uh, probably 30% off. And I have the pumpkin ones, but these are skulls and pumpkins. I have a friend who um, I adore, and I told him he and I should be making a um, Halloween project. I bought this stuff. I just need to figure out in my mind how we're going to put it together so that I can teach him. But I think these are... Um, really fun. I have never worked with them, but I'm sure they are. And then I found this set of stamps on clearance, and this is the Clean Foam Stamps from Tim Holtz. These are the block lower letters. I have the uppercase, and I also have all the numbers uppercase, but these are the lower, smaller size. So glad I found those, and these were $4.97. And I think yesterday was 20% off. I used my um, cell phone. I love when I go to um, Joanne's. You just give them your cell phone and they just do the scrolling and the clicking. It's wonderful. And then I picked up another one of these because um, I don't even know what you call it. It's called a powder mold release. So when you have something that's sticky on the back and you don't want it to be sticky, say like this box if he was sticky, then it has this little duster on the tip. And you just go over it and it takes the sticky off of your die cut. And the one I have, I pulled that little feather out or that little brush out. And now it doesn't work for me like it should. So um, I picked up another one. I picked up these foam adhesive sheets also from Joann's, I believe. These are, um, or maybe Michael's, because I was, we were all over. And these are the um, five by eight and a half size. Lots of colors, as you can tell, and it has the adhesive. They also have this in glitter. They also have it where it has no adhesive, but the adhesive I like. And again, a multitude of colors. And then finally, I got some paper pads. Well, actually, I, I picked up this too from um, Joanne, some glitter. Orange, black, and purple. And then I got two paper pads. This one I already have. It's the Cricut Deluxe Paper. Absolutely love it. Um, I didn't know whether I wanted to make bows with it, but I think I'm going to make some candy poppers. I think that'll be cute. And the um, colors are just very, very bright, vibrant. Look at that. Those are gummies. Uh, gumdrops, and then you have some words. It would be also great to use if um, you were packaging up some treats for someone. Uh, you can either make the card with this paper or um, use the paper as a backdrop for the um, goodies that you're giving. So I wanted to keep one, but I also wanted to use one and probably use a lot of it. So I picked it up. This again was another $4.97. And then last, I got this paper pad. I have seen this. Uh, I've seen it being hauled and I saw it a couple of weeks ago when I was at Joanne's. And typically I don't gravitate toward um, such busy uh, paper, but it is Halloween and the colors are off the hook. I mean, just vibrant. So, um, these have the, uh, what is they call this, um, gloss over them. And of course they can be cut apart and used. There's two of each sheets, but what I, um, thought would be great. And I saw that they use it this way is papers like this can be cut in strips and then it could be wrapped around your candy. Um, that could be wrapped around the candy. Um, let's see, that's really pretty. This is another one that you can wrap around the candy where you'd be able to see the house. Look how vibrant those are. And if you, if you didn't want the busy side, the opposite side is pretty, a little more subtle. Definitely wrapped around the candy. Look at those eyeballs, the bats the ghosts, the skulls, and just fun. Spiders, and then all the uh, costumes. And when I say wrapped around the can, you can kind of see how they used it here. They just had these maybe Hershey small bars and they just wrapped it around. I thought that was such a great idea. So that is my small haul that I did at these uh, three places. And I thank you guys for watching. Please do come back. I have some other things I want to share with you. And until my next video, take care. Bye now.